Hi, this is Kathy Koliakovo with Time on Task Virtual Assistant Services, and today we're going to show you how to post one of your YouTube videos into your WordPress website as a blog post. Many people like to add their videos into a blog post, but sometimes get stuck on what you do and how you get that video into your blog. So what we're going to do here to start is go to YouTube and we're going to click on the video that we want to put into the blog post. When you're looking at your video you'll see a button here that has an embed code in it. You just click that button it will open up another box and it's already highlighted the code that you want so you can copy that code and then you're going to go back to your blog and you're going to input a new blog post. With WordPress I generally um, you can generally put your blog post in through a visual editor or the HTML editor. With the embed code you want to ensure that you're, you've got the HTML view clicked on there. You can type in your posts here, your content, that you, what you want to add in to go with your video, and then you paste in the video code. One of the things you'll notice about the video code is it's an object is what it's wanting to put in there but it's looking at the height and the width of it so in this case it's taking it in as 385 by 640 for the width. That in most cases may be bigger than the column that you have available on your blog for the video to show in so you're going to have to adjust the width and the height settings. What you want to do for that is you want to open up your calculator and you want to figure out the ratio because you need to keep it in proportion otherwise the video will look a little off when people are looking at it. So what I do is take the 385 height divided by the 640 width to get the uh, factor of 60 percent that we've got here. I probably tend to put mine at about 400 pixels wide because I know that that's how wide I like them to show in my blog posts. So what you do is you take the the quotient that you got from that division, the 0 0.60, and you multiply it by 400. So the difference will is, or the end result there is 240. So you want to change this width to 400 and the height to 240. That information is in two spots on here, so you need to make sure you change it in both spots. And then you can take a preview and see what it will look like when it goes on to your blog. So you'll see here, I still have a bit of space, I could make it bigger if I wanted to, but people can always hit the uh, full screen button if they want to look at it in a larger version. So that's the information that you have to put that in there. You can type in content before and after the video object, get everything else ready for your blog post, and then you can publish it off. Hopefully this has helped you learn how to put a video in your WordPress website blog. If you have any more questions, feel free to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash timeontaskva. And you can also stay up to date on different items like this by keeping an email subscription to our blog at www.mysocialmediava.com slash blog. Hopefully this will help you get your video into your next blog post.